All right, hello there, welcome back. Ahoy, it's me, Tiny Pirate. We are playing Airships Conquer the Skies, and we have a whole bunch of uh, bad dudes to destroy. And considering the number of ships, we're just gonna go. I'm gonna, we're gonna try something like this. We're just gonna have to take it from. Uh, we're just gonna have to take it from both ends, is what I was trying not to say, but I said it. So there you go. We'll move on. So little bumblebees zooming in here. I can look at the outside view to get a nice orange you know, business going on here. And you know what I'm going to do? Because of the amount of damage they've been taking, we're going to crank them up to uh, full, full speed, basically. So what I also want to do is... Okay, you guys aren't ready for orders yet. Okay, you guys are ready for orders. I want one of you to be quite close. And then one of you to be a bit behind, and then one of you to be a bit further behind. No, 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 no. Don't bounce around like that. Whoa. Okay. You back off, and you back off. No, 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 no. It's gonna. It's, it's ceiling is gonna lower. Yeah. Okay. You back off just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Oh, we lost the captain in there? Alright, we knew we were going to lose these. They're so cheap. A clonk. <laughs> but look, it gives them something to shoot at. They're just busy pinging away. Oh, no, 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 no. That was lightning. No, 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 no. Can you back off? Just... Oh, no, no, that's not good. Can you inch forward? Okay, uh, just like, okay, bring the, just bring the whole lot forward then. They're all riding on the back of you. Damage report. What is happening down here? Are we shooting anyone? No, we're just loading up with ammo. This thing is taking a lot of hits, which is a little concerning. Come down, get nice and close. I don't want any missing at this range. Okay. Okay. That's not good. If we back off a little bit when we do come down, which I'm actually, I might just order them to land to hopefully prevent uh, the worst damage. Yeah, that's looking pretty bad, isn't it, chaps? Just, oh yes. I think we just, no. I think we just, oh, uh, here we go. These guys are coming down to just land. Let's crank it up. Can we do any damage at this range? Like, we're safely landed. These guys are low on ammo. Um, just how about just normal shooting? Like, well, we got a fire started in there. They're putting it out, though. That's a big fort. That is tough to deal with. Six bumblebees might not have been enough. Oh no, I think we're going to lose this one. I think this one's going to, this is going to be gone. But we didn't spend that much. What I'm curious about is if we've damaged this thing. I mean, I suppose I could flee, but they're already crashed. I should have fleed a bit earlier. <sighs> That's a bit annoying. Uh, that was the whole fleet of uh, U-City. Uh, so they, we might just be able to take them right now. Oh, uh, gentle take. Oh, so we cancelled the spy there. Good. Uh, you move into here. Gentle take over. And two more bumblebees being spat out. And another one. I think we do want some there. Uh, build ship. Bumblebee. And there we go. Okay, so two more. So 900 is fine. Oh, okay. So like research. We've got bombs. Bombs very important. The next thing is I think cannons would be the most useful. Okay, so now we need to actually design a bomber. And this bomber needs to be a high altitude bomber with our really basic tech. So that's going to be weird, but that's okay. I don't want to get carried away with uh, the amount of bomb base either. It, it, is it is easy to do that. I think... We're gonna do. We're gonna go with cheap. 
Cheap is the name of the game. And I think this will be fine. We arguably want a lot of uh, this stuff, a lot of ammunition. Um, that's weird. I could have sworn that would do the trick, but it doesn't. So that's fine. We'll use births. Yep. How's that looking? Minus 64 meters. Recommended crew is fine. We use those. We will use a cockpit because we're not fancy. We don't, we don't need fancy controls around here. 11 seconds is probably plenty enough. We're going to use a supply hatch like that. Um, we do want to put, I think, a cockpit towards the top, but we haven't even stuck on anything speedy or lifty yet. Ah, so we do want to do that too. So lift. Doesn't. I'm kind of annoyed that it doesn't like neatly. It's not neatly uh, symmetrical. I kind of should have thought about that, I feel. Whoa, that's too big. Um, 85 meters is not very, very high at all. Hmm, 132k, that's the big sail on the back. 40 meters is not going to cut it either. Hmm. I might reconfigure this slightly. It feels like it needs reconfiguring. And I don't quite know how to do that in this case. I think what I will do is put this over like this and then run the berths down the middle. Okay, so they're going to get... Uh, would that be helpful? How much of these berths weigh? 40 and a quarter's weighs 100. It is actually more efficient to use the, to use the berths. Okay, fine. We will do that because we do want something in the middle. All right. Mm, it's not... It's not end of the world bad so far. Let me have a look here. This is always the f one of the fun and kind of grueling parts of the game, I find. And cockpit can go there. Or should it go down here with a supply hatch on the front? And then... Like... How high is that? 83 meters? Really? That is just shocking, to be perfectly frank. 83 meters. It's not much of a bomber. What is this one saying? 180 meters. 300 meters. Um, what about like that? 500 meters. I kind of feel I could get away with a little bit more of the old pew pew. Like another another bomb rack. 77k. It is slow. It's got enough of that. It's got enough crew. Oh, it is going to have to take some steel armor. Steel wall? I'm surprised it's not steel armor, but that's fine. That's actually not disgusting. It's a bit hard for stuff to be accessed. And it's a bit ugly, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Can we just like um, pick up this? I just want to check. I want to see if I can just move the quarters over one. I can. And then put the basic structural corridor here. And it's still really fast. And now we've got 
double access to the ammunition and stuff. Would another corridor be good here? Let's have a look how much it lowers it. That feels fine. That feels just perfect, if you ask me. So, I would like a dragon head. Uh, let's have a look what it looks like. Uh, so, oh, okay. Uh, open, does it <laughs> cancel. Where am I looking for? What, what are you, decoration? Eh, no, not quite. Uh, meteor splash might be quite cool. I, that seems all right. Small coat of... No, that looks terrible. Bit too big. So what I would fancy though is... Let's paint it the first arms color can be... Like zigzags. Because we're kind of a weird stripey... No. Oh. Ah, come here. We're a, a weird stripey bee. Um... Yeah, something like that. I like the color and decoration. Oh, I think we can have a steel nameplate. The discomfort. Why, why won't you like be slapped on? Maybe we should just leave, leave you off. Well, that's a bit disgusting. I do want to go and have a quick. What, what is Oh, the lights at the back? And maybe a light at the front. Where are you? A light at the front. And I think you're looking pretty good. We want to get a little bit of shape in there. This is going to be what takes out those uh, difficult, difficult pieces that we've been dealing with. A lion figurehead. How does that look, uh, decoration? Wow, that's, that's a little excessive, I think. Oh, nope. That's a little excessive for this uh, particular case. Uh, modules, uh, line, figurehead. Just um, get rid of that. I think, yeah, that is a touch crazy. So what about this one, 542? Didn't really make much difference. But I do think I want to fit in the little round piece first. Little round corner there. And... Actually, I'll put that one up there. And a little round piece at the back. Curvy bomber. And then we'll go for the lion. No, Kraken. Kraken is a pretty pretty sweet one. And decorate. Now, I'm not a fan of that round... <sighs> oh, thank you, game. I'm not a fan of that uh, roundel bit, but we did get rid of it, so I guess that works. And uh, second arms color. Right, so a 700 point bomber that is not, not too terrible. It goes very high and it possibly doesn't, you know what? I don't think it needs to go that high. I think like that's, that's obvious. Oh, even that's not, that's not too bad. 360. Hmm. I'm left wondering if we want repairs. For that amount, perhaps we do. Now we could do something like that. 570. I might put on a little bit more lift and I think that might be it with some birth of the berth for extra crew. Yeah, I mean, it feels a little bit like a Bombay there. Actually, you know what? You can go there. That looks like a Bombay. That is, that's, okay, I think this is it. There's a moment when you know you've got it, and I think I've got it. Stick that there. Oh. Can you not get, okay, well, we're going to have to put a, okay, we're going to have to put a structural piece in to fit you in. Um because I think the overlays are going to show... Yeah, no one can go there. So the repairs are not... So overlays, this can be very good to look at. Yeah, if stuff goes up, we're in serious trouble, but this isn't meant to be the... Um, repair tools are not too bad for around here, and obviously terrible over there. 
This is not meant to be the most uh, effective craft we can possibly build just yet. It, is, it has got a little bit of a ways to go. What I do think though is that I should move everything over one and I don't quite know why but that feels a little bit more forward. I do think I will put on like a small like a small tank on the top and one at the front. What about that? 340. I think that's going to be pretty safe. I think it's going to be pretty safe. And I think this is going to be an effective fleet bomber. Yeah, I'm, I'm quietly confident. All right, let's save this design. So we need to rename this. What are we going to call this? We'll call this the Bumblebee. I don't know. This feels like the... Um, not really a drone, is it? What should we call it? The Dung Beetle is the only thing that comes to mind. Um, save design. Let's build at least one of them. Okay, gentle takeover. What do we got here for defenses? That's actually pretty robust. But I do want to send at least one ship over. I like these cheap designs just for being like a really cheap little reinforcing uh, element. Okay, so we'll leave those behind. Move to there. And then I think we will... Oh, you know what? We're going to build another dung beetle. A 600 point bomber I'm pretty pleased with. You move to there as well. You move to there. And that's going to be our invasion invasion fleet for Fjordon. Move. And then I think that will be fine. It's, it's not worth a spy. We can always flee. So that's one. That's that's like a lot. Yeah, let's check. Okay, we've got two, two dung beetles and a ton of bumblebees. I think that's going to be just fine. Okay, you guys move to the back. And I'm going to kind of rack these things up. I, I might just rack them up in their final uh, formation, how I how I want them all to stack when they explode. i got to be careful I don't put them too close together or they will kind of freak out about how close they are. Um, yeah, sure, we'll just leave those there. Okay, let's start. How Oh, you can go very high. Like, as high as I need you to. And they are, they are trying to shoot at them. Uh, the en enemy's hiding in the fog. We'll need to aim carefully. Okay, so go for aimed fire. Okay, these are not quick ordering craft. Uh, aim carefully because I do suspect that this is going to be a uh, big fight. Okay, you guys are up there. And now, just come there. Just truck along. Are you guys taking any damage? Um, I think broadly okay. Probably a little bit, but nothing too serious. And if you fall on them, then I'm not going to be too worried. Yeah. And now the and that's nice. I can easily see where the bombs are coming out. So you guys better aim carefully. Aim for that one, and you all uh, aim for this one too. Yeah, come down here. Speed things up a little bit. Do we have enough ammo? I'm sure we do. What are, what are you guys on? Oh, there's heaps of ammunition. Probably even too much, arguably. Ah, oh, yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. You, I want to move right out. So, you just get out of there. You're too shot up. Yeah, reserve you. And how are we looking? Ah, oh, this should be very straightforward. 
Anyone else taking significant hits? No, they're fine. Oh yeah, we got them. Oh, phew. Okay, so that was... That was fantastic. Wow, that was... That was brilliant. And we have enough for another bumble... Oh, dung beetle. Yes, this is a very successful design. So, what have we got here for defense? Oh, oh, that's not, that's not, that's not ideal. Okay, so we better, like, send something over there. So, I wish I could unselect them all somehow. I don't think it's possible. And then I can just select, like, two of them to move there. That seems good. And you move there. Who do we want to take on next? Oh, look at these guys. They're massive. This lot over here. Ooh. Ooh, we got cannons. We have cannons. What do we want? I sh maybe I should have just gone for rockets. Hmm. Saw blades and tracks. No propellers. I'm okay without those. Ah. Uh, Suspendium chambers are nice to have. I think it's time to design our new ship. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Let's have a look at these defenses first of all. What defenses? We destroyed all of them. And we do actually get to build a defensive structure. So we go for watchful turret. And then I think we will do defensive structure, whatever the heck it's called. Um because it has cannons and we now have cannons. So it's probably time to look at a cannon ship. And I, I'm, I'm sort of, do, how? Okay, no, I don't want to scrap. These are okay. How are these ships? Do any of them require repairs? From memory, one, I think one of them only lost a piece of its front. So it seems okay, let's have a look. Uh, it does actually want give me the option of refitting it, which is unusual. So I just want to check. So the maximum speed we got right now is 140. I actually, why? Mm, I wonder what I could do with a design based on the bumblebee. Our build ship. So let's edit this one. No, oh, what am I doing? Design ship. And if we take the bumblebee and open it, and we rip off these uh, parts here and put on so now the the structural thing in me bobby is 82 meters and definitely needs more crew what is what it, oh what is that small ammo store small ammo store would probably not be enough for a normal ship of this size however 19 um, hmm. A grape shot cannon, 52. A normal cannon is 77. Weight is 70. Weight is 60. These things are actually pretty cool. Like, they, they seriously are actually really cool. So we're very low. Probably a good Fort Buster. I, I quite... You know, I honestly do quite like this. It's very cheap still. Hmm. I, you know what? Bumblebee. It's the Bumblebee E. We're going to keep adding E's. I think this is good. And the best part is I can even refit ships. So as soon as we've got the cash, like, I can refit to the Bumblebee. And the refit only costs 140. So, Bumblebee refit. Uh, open design. Because it's based on the other ones so completely. It's a really cheap thing to do. I like it. Refit to the Bumble. Oh, I haven't got the cash. Uh, leave. Okay, so we are. I want to group the fleet up a little bit. And how are we looking for defenses? Oh, 
defensive structure 17 does seem like a good idea at this point as well. I'm just conscious of how how close we are to these big bad guys over there. So I'm going to go uh, medium. It's the research that I'm pondering cracking back the subsidies on. Just because we have such a beautiful, beautiful uh, system right now. So the bumblebee bumblebee. I'm going to take one of the bumblebees. Oh, maybe I'm maybe I'm not. Oh, actually, I can just I can tell this one to go for a refit, so that'll take it out of the out of contention. And I feel it's time to declare some kind of war uh, on someone else. It's a matter of choosing the right target. Um, no, actually, I want that bumblebee. Yes, yes. And cultists, what are what are they doing? Curiously. Okay, so that's gone that way. That's gone. We're going to go like that. And... We will take these and attack the cultists. So we'll see what they're like. I don't, want, I don't want them hanging around causing problems. I'm actually kind of okay with that. I think we can take them. Um... I'm going to put a few of these in reserve. Which is it? It's uh, like from the west, from right... Okay, so he's not going to be super accurate. Are these more... No, these are, these are much lower altitude. And these, we're going to just put at the back for now. I like the glow of the sun on them. And we're going to watch this battle in the next episode. You knew that was coming. I hope you'll... Oh, he's got a big turret on the top. Well, we're going to do that anyway. We're going to give it a go, see how we see how we do. And you can watch that in the next episode. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Good night.